as a leader, do you know that wasteful activities are not only the scourge of operations, but also in administration or the office? Waste in production is more visible because we are seeing the product being created. It is easier to see waste when the product is tangible. It is less so when the product is information. Waste in the office is not only costly, but like in operations, it affects your staff morale. They waste time, get frustrated and angry. In the previous video, we introduced the seven deadly wastes for operations. How can we spot Tim Wood sabotaging the admin work? Tim Wood is the mnemonic for the seven wastes. Transport, inventory, motion, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing, and correction of defects. Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from MP. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. How do we see waste in the office? You might remember that waste is any activity that the customer is not willing to pay for. More broadly, this could be the internal customers, management, or the people affected by the process. I'll give you examples of waste for each of the seven categories and follow the same order as in my previous video. Overproduction, producing more than is needed, faster than needed, and before needed. The visible one is when multiple copies of documents are made and then discarded. One devastating aspect of, aspect of overproduction is the nefarious habit of seeing pretty much everyone in, part, in particular management. It is also a symptom of a culture of distrust or poor leadership, getting management's attention onto an unnecessary CC document creates overprocessing and is a time waster. A staff produces when they work on a deliverable which is not important when something that is important is waiting in the queue. Poor prioritization creates overproduction in inventory. Overproduction can also be the salesperson overselling a product. A last example, imagine the frustration of a staff when they produce a report that they know will never be read. Waiting, that's an obvious one. Waiting for the client to revert back to the salesperson. Waiting for information, waiting for the manager's goodwill. But waiting is not that obvious to observe when people multitask whilst waiting for information to work on a job. Another ironic example, the production manager is angry because of a vacant supervisory position takes forever to be staffed by HR. In the meantime, she has been sitting for three weeks with five applications on the side of her desk that HR is waiting for her to shortlist. Transportation. In the digital sphere, transportation can be moving electronic files, multiple revisions of which can lead to defect or overprocessing. Overprocessing, that is performing unnecessary or incorrect processing. It could be under, over, or that processing. Your staff produces reports that are not read. Clerks capturing data that will never be processed. The typical one is to do the same data entries on different applications because the systems are not communicating between each other. Adding features to a deliverable that the customer doesn't see or doesn't pay for. Long, ineffective meetings are a waste of overprocessing. In Within Walking Distance number seven, I explain how to ban wasteful meetings from your life. Inventory. 
that is work that is waiting to be processed. Inventory is a common result of multitasking and otherwise unbalanced workloads. Inventory can be found in email or work order inboxes, to-do lists, product development pipelines, etc. If a person has three tasks to complete, it is guaranteed that two of them are waiting in inventory while that person performs the third. Motion. This waste is sometimes difficult to spot, but it is often the outcome of a disrespectful behavior. For example, customers or prospects ghosting you, meetings being rescheduled, information is not routed properly, searching for information is the hallmark of motion, having to track it down, conflicting information, instructions that must be clarified, insufficient information, partially complete work or information. All these are defects and we need to motion to correct them. An underling provides inaccurate or no feedback on instructions given. Work is delayed because of confusion or failure to understand directions. Example, the planning department cannot start a job because the sales rep hasn't filled in the project brief accurately. Searching for truth is motion. When there is confusion, there is often the waste of motion. Standardization is a way of eliminating these sources of anxiety. That will be the subject of another video. Finally, we have correction of defects. Any work that did not accomplish its purpose or was not correct the first time is a defect. It includes late work, incorrect information, misnamed files, lost files or information. In the context of the accounting department, that could be the number of recons or adjustments to variances in inventory before month ends. This adds pressure to the accounting staff to meet deadlines. Same problem every month. Any rework is the result of defects. Find the rework, and you will find the defect waste. So let's wrap up. Waste is insidious because it often makes people think that they are working when actually they are just busy. The effort is not creating any value. The cost of your administrative staff and management is a much larger portion of your payroll than in the past century. By eliminating waste in administration, not only do you make the actual work more productive and often reduce the need for unnecessary staff, but you will also improve the organization culture by eliminating a lot of the frustration and overburden. This is it for this episode on the waste in administration. In the last video, we covered the wastes in production. In the next one, we will have a quick look at the wasteful behaviors of leadership. And this is the good quote for this episode. Ted Engstrom wrote, anything that is wasted effort represents wasted time. The best management of our time thus becomes linked inseparably with the best utilization of our efforts. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at Here is a clue. Before this place was transformed, I would have been buried under a few tons of grain. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization or eliminate wastes. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode on wasteful behaviors of leadership in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well and eliminate waste.